Warning! The following program is rated TVMA. Viewer discretion is advised. Belial. Belial is a term occurring in the Hebrew Bible which later became personified as the devil in Jewish and Christian text. Belial is a Hebrew word used to characterize the wicked or worthless. The etymology of the word is often understood as lacking worth. From two common words, Beli, without and Ya'al to be of value. Some scholars translate it from Hebrew as worthless, beli yo'il, while others translate it as yokeless, beli ol. May he have no rising, or never to rise, beli ya'al. Only a few etymologists have believed it to be an invented name from the start. The word occurs 27 times in the Masoteric text in verses such as Proverbs 6.12 where the King James Version translates the Hebrew phrase Adam Belial as a naughty person. In the Hebrew text the phrase is either sons of Belial or simply sons of worthlessness. Phrases beginning with sons of are a common Semitic idiom such as sons of destruction or sons of lawlessness. Of these 27 occurrences, the idiom sons of Belial appears 15 times to indicate worthless people, including idolaters, Deuteronomy, the men of Gibeah, the sons of Eli, Nabal, and Shimei. The Geneva Bible uses wicked and has the marginal note Eber, men of Belial, that is, given to all wickedness. In the King James Version, these occurrences are rendered with Belial capitalized. The sons of Eli were sons of Belial. The sons of Eli were worthless men, the wicked men of the city. According to Baal Kadman's book, Belial is by far one of the most popular demons in occult lore. He is second only to Satan, and in some circles, he is Satan himself. Belial's even featured in several comic books and games. The term Belial appears frequently in Jewish texts of the Second Temple period. Texts classified by Christians as the Old Testament Pseudopigrapha and Apocrypha. Also a large number of references to Belial are evidenced in the Dead Sea Scrolls discovered at Qumran from 1948. From the Dead Sea Scrolls, in the War of the Sons of Light against the Sons of Darkness, one of the Dead Sea Scrolls, Belial is the leader of the sons of darkness. You made Belial for the pit, angel of enmity. In darkness is his domain. His counsel is to bring about wickedness and guilt. All the spirits of his lot are angels of destruction. They walk in the laws of darkness. Towards it goes their only desire. In the rules of the community, God is depicted as saying, I shall not comfort the oppressed until their path is perfect. I shall not retain Belial within my heart. 
the war scroll and the thanksgiving hymns both delve into the idea that belial is accursed by god and his people and shows how the existence of belial in this world can be attributed to the mysteries of God since we cannot know why he permits the dealings of Belial to persist. In this video scene from the box office controversial sensation, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, based on a true story, the demons inside the possessed girl are almost eager to divulge that one of the demons inside Emily is that of Belial, along with Lucifer. He who commands you is he who orders you thrown down from the highest heaven into the depths of hell. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I now command you, tell me your name. Hear, therefore, and fear, Satan, enemy of the faith. Give me your name, demon. Names! Names! Adoratalaja Armian Shashita! Ancient serpents, depart from this servant of God! Tell me your six names! We are the ones who dwell within. Honey, you shut your head, but talk like a king. I chase a parrot, and then you die. It's mickling you. Anablia. And I am Lucifer, the devil in the flesh. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, Belial is further contrast with God. These are the Angel of Light and the Angel of Darkness. The Manual of Discipline identifies the Angel of Light as God himself. The Angel of Darkness is identified in the same scroll as Belial. Also in the Dead Sea Scrolls is a recounting of a dream of Amram the father of Moses, who finds two watchers contesting over him. One is Belial, who is described as the king of evil and the prince of darkness. Belial is also mentioned in the fragments of a Zatukite work, which is also known as the Damascus document, which states that during the eschatological age, Belial shall be let loose against Israel, as God spoke through Isaiah the prophet. The fragments also speak of three nets of Belial, which are said to be fornication, wealth, and pollution of the sanctuary. In this work, Belial is sometimes presented as an agent of divine punishment and sometimes as a rebel, as Mastema is. It was Belial who inspired the Egyptian sorcerers, Jokane and his brother, to oppose Moses and Aaron. The fragments also say that anyone who is ruled by the spirits of Belial and speaks of rebellion should be condemned as a necromancer and wizard. In the resurrection of Jesus Christ by Bartholomew of the New Testament Apocrypha, Belial was visible along with 666 fallen angels when Michael was commanded by Jesus to show hell to his disciples. The powers that Belial are thought to possess are measureless, as compared to other demonic entities which are just fallen angel kin. Belial has the power to possess the living and is very influential. This demon, along with other fallen angels of the Quran, Hebrew Bible, and King James Version Bible, were able to do battle with the angels of God and were strong enough to cause an uprising or rebellion which took the Archangel Michael and the rest of heaven to smite them. Belial no doubt possesses great power 
and compared to our feeble human flesh, Belial can smite mankind at will. Belial is indeed a force to be reckoned with. <laughs>